an indefinite integral. Uh, and we have the integral of x times the sine of 2x with respect to x. So this problem can very easily be done using tabular integration. So I want to give you a heads up on that. So tabular is the way to go. Uh, but I want to show you how to do it the longer way using integration by parts, just as a quick refresher on integration by parts. So we'll start by running down maybe the integration by parts formula. So the integration by parts formula says if you have u dv, this is equal to u v minus the integral of v. That's the integration by parts formula. So here, um, when you're using this formula, you usually want something that after repeated differentiation will be zero. Uh, usually that's what you want. In this case, u is going to be x. And then dv will be this piece here. So dv is everything left over. So it would be sine 2x dx. Right? And now what you have is the integral of u dv. See, so you have x times sine 2x dx. X, so it fits the formula. So this whole piece here is u dv. Okay, so now you compute uh, du. So du is simply dx. And you compute v. So v, um, well, by the way, du is the derivative of x, right? That's why we just get 1 dx. v is the integral of dv. You have to integrate sine 2x in your head, right? So uh, what's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine uh, is negative sine. So this is going to be a negative cosine of 2x. And the trick is whenever you have a constant here next to the x, you can simply divide by that number. So just divide by 2. Okay. All right, so now we're ready to use the formula. So it uh, looks like we have uh, u dv. Well, that's equal to, so I'm going to call this i. So i is equal to uh, uv, so negative x over 2. We're right, multiplying this times this cosine 2x. All right, we took x and multiplied it by this, but I wrote it as uh, x over 2, and I pulled it out, minus the integral of v du. Now, there's already a minus here, so it's going to become a plus in the formula. So plus, and then v du. So uh, I'll pull the 1 half out, okay? And it's v du, so it's simply cosine 2x dx. And you go that again because it's a little bit confusing. So we have uv, so that's this times this. That goes here, right? So it's this times this, it goes here minus VDU, right? So uh, the DX is just DX, that's DU rather, it's just DX. This negative one half comes out and it becomes a positive one half, okay? And when you integrate cosine, you say, hey, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, sine. And same thing, you just divide by two again. So here you end up with, laying out a room on this really small board, um, negative X over two, cosine two X. Okay, and then when you integrate this, um, you get sine 2x over 2. So this would be 1 fourth, because you divide, you're dividing by 2, so you get an extra 1 half. I'm skipping steps. Why? Because the board is so small. The price to pay for a smaller board, it makes the math actually um, harder, right? So a uh, smaller board, um, you know, it's good for you. That's it.